Hey YouTube, it's the iPhone. I just got done playing in a tournament where I almost beat the Evo champ with Bridget. And I finally feel like I'm confident enough to, you know, put that out of the sky and share some of the stuff that I've learned about Bridget and share a few guys. So why play Bridget though? She has a ton of different options. She can neutral skip very well. She can zone out people. She has really good mix up. She also has some good, really good defense with her DP and air mobility options. She also has a pretty straightforward game plan. You know, she is considered to be one of the easier characters in the cast by the game. And while I think that's not not entirely true you can get by using a very simple game plan that we'll go over in this tutorial and if you want to like a, a really technical character she also has tons of depth to her and tons of things that the community is still figuring out about her one thing before we get started if there's terms or notations or anything you don't understand in this video i have a guide for new people to fighting games so check out that guide and it might help explain some of the stuff if you're newer to fighting games that's in this guide uh link down in the description below all right, guys, so I'm gonna split this up in a few sections. We'll talk about our normal specials, then we'll go over combos, strategy, and then we'll finally talk about like advanced stuff, uh, stuff you don't really need to know, but we'll need to know in the future if you're gonna make this character, right? So her normals straight up are good. Her punch normals are a little interesting. So a lot of characters fastest normals are punch, not Bridget's, right? Bridget, her fastest normal is this uh, two kick. It's five frames. It's gonna be your thing to mash out on defense, right? Um, if you need a button to mash out on. These punch buttons though, they have longer range. And this longer range, despite the slower startup, can be useful in some situations. So when, for example, round start, it can almost reach. Um, so if they stick out a button, you might be able to preempt that button. Um, some moves kind of leave you spaced out, too spaced out for uh, 2K. So that's where I think a 2P and a 5P come in. They can also combo into her 6K. But the issue with this I find is that the range you want to be using are 2P and 5P. Um, this will like typically just whiff. <laughs> so I find it really inconsistent. I'm not gonna lie. I don't use these buttons too much, but they do have their niche use. Her 5K and 2K are pretty useful. 5K I pretty much only use in like combos. Um, but her 2K again, this is your button that you want to mash out on. It always combos into 2D. Um, in the corner, you can combo into 6H and you know, get a full combo that way. But in general, you want to go into 2D after that and then set your set your yo-yo. Um, her S button, so close S is like your go-to meaty button. It's when you knock them down, you just 5S them. This is really good for a couple of reasons. One, you can hit confirm it um, and you see it hits and you can go into a full combo. It's pretty fast. It has a lot of active frames, so it'll catch like people that are trying to backdash, right? And you can kind of hit them out and you get a full combo off of that, right? And if they block it, you're actually at advantage too. So it's still your turn if they block. Yeah, it's quite good. Her 2S, it's a multi-hitting low. So again, this is usually the block string you go 5S and the 2S. Um, this is also really good. Sometimes you want to like space yourself out from DPs or throws or uh, just would be safe in general. So you'll do the a 2s instead of a 5s on their knockdown another good thing is this this also beats like 6ps right so 6 is pretty good against like some of bridges normals like a 5s or you know beats her 5h but you know 2s of course beats that and you know it's a really good low starter as well her far 5s is really good so far 5s and far hs are pretty similar right far hs goes a little bit further but it starts up slower. I tend to opt to for 5S most of the time because you get a little more time to hit confirm your combo and does a little bit more damage. But 5H can be really good too. And of course, after all of these hit, you go straight into the scooter and then, you know, continue your pressure from there. Another cool thing about 5H is you actually get a little more reward. So let's say you're counter hitting a poke, you get this counter hit state. Um, you can get something like that, but you can get something a little more optimal. So that does more damage and you get a better mix up after. And if you're like super good. You can get something like that, which is admittedly, it's pretty hard. But uh, you see the, the potential of 5H on counter hit, right? Where here you don't really get that much off of 5S, which I think I forgot to cover 5HH, but um, it's a really good follow up to 5HH. 5H is also special cancelable. You'll do it quite a bit. Um, 5SS, not not quite as much, um, but it's useful in some combos, right? All right, and so 2H, this is, this is a pretty good button. Works as an anti-air. Um, it's not like fast enough to like be the IED. I mean, unless you're like really looking for it because it doesn't have head on full like a 6P. But if it lands, you get big damage, right? So let's say I scout this out.
Right, so you get pretty good damage for that anti-air, right? Compared to your 6P, which are other anti-air 6P. It's about as most as you get. On counter hit, you kind of have, you sometimes have to cancel a little bit early. So that combos. I recommend almost always canceling the 6P into the 236K because you could get something like this, but you don't really get a mix up off of it, right? The other good thing about doing this is on non counter hit, which does happen a lot. You get even more damage and uh, you still get a mix up, right? So I, I recommend doing that. The only time I wouldn't do that is like, let's say you already have like a orb out. You can do something like that and get a mix up, but 90 some percent of the time you want to be canceling into that 236k after the 6p. So some of our command normal 6k we kind of talked about. The cool thing about 6k is it's sometimes it's used in combos when you want to keep them grounded. So it lets you do stuff like this. And so because that 6k kept Bridget grounded, I was able to get another 2d mix up, which uh, is some of the strengths of this character. 6P we talked about, really good anti-air. Basically your go-to anti-air, cancel the 236K. Don't really use it when they're on the ground. Like you're not gonna do a block string into 6P. Not not really worth it, she has better cancel options. 6HS, so 6HS is kind of like probably your most optimal DP starter. Um, it's also used a lot in combos um, in the corner. Again, 2K in the 6HS combos, 5S in the 6HS combos as well. So you get something like that, right? And so that's going to be kind of your go-to combo filler in the corner. This move is actually surprisingly good and neutral too. 6HS doesn't have as much recovery as you thought. And the cool thing is it actually hops over lows, right? So if your opponent likes to do lows a lot, right, it'll sort of hop over, catch your startup. And then, I mean, I just made this combo up, but you get the idea is you can get really good reward off of doing that. And on block, you have a pretty good cancel option, which is you just go into the uh, the disc. When you hit this disc like that, you're about slightly your advantage, I think. Yeah, it's about even, right? So it's decent on block as well. You know, 5D, her 5D is the same as everyone else. I never do charge 5D. I don't think it's really worth it with her because you have other really good mix up options, but it is an option if you want to do that. I will do uncharged dust and then into RC. You know, every character has that. It's good if you need the mix up to finish them off. 2D, basically just combo filler, right? If you 2K, 2D always goes into it. You can also do 5S into 2D. Um, you do get a combo if this lands. That being said, I wouldn't bother actually learning this combo right away because I don't think I've ever landed a counter at 2D in like 400 games I've played, but it is an option. Um, I think in general, you're better off frame trapping than this because um, it's a little bit better on block. Oh okay, yeah, jump normals, jump P. Jump P is basically only used for mix up. Uh, we'll talk about that later. Jump K has like a decent cross up hitbox, but honestly, I don't use it that much because jump S is just really good. It's double hitting. You have frame advantage when you land. So even like when it's high up like that, you'll actually beat throw with a with a 2K. And if you're really high up, you can cancel the jump D. Jump H, uh, very good tool to like space out, get decent damage on counter hit as well. Um, just a really good uh, air control. Jump D, this is kind of like a mix up tool, right? So it delays your fall. So you can get like pretty good 50 50s with this. If they block it, it's not the best on block compared to our other jump in normal. So you kind of strictly want to use it when you're, when you're getting a mix up. All right, so let's talk about specials. Um, she has a lot of them. So first up is her command grab. Um, this is interesting. I think it's technically reactable, but they have to be looking for it, right? So they can, you know, ID back. They can also throw it. Um, that's why I like to do just because I, I feel like it's the easiest to input. But you do get decent damage off of it, right? And after you land it, you can just you know run up and get a close 5S. Um, she has an air version of this too. I think the air version is pretty good. I think when you cancel it from like a really low jump in, I think it's pretty hard to react to because the animation is like a little bit hidden because she's already in the air. Um, and of course you can RC it for additional damage. Think of it like chips, leaf grab. You can react if you're looking for it, but you have to be looking for it. And if they're looking for it, the opponent's going to be distracted and you can get away with other stuff more. All right, 236K, the scooter. This thing's actually really, really good. You could control the momentum. So if you hold back, it doesn't go as far. If you hold forward, you go really, really far. Um, you can actually like hold back at the start and then go forward um so you see how like you can adjust your momentum the reason this is important is because if you space it correctly you're actually plus 
And so you have to get really used to the momentum so you can try to get that plus spacing. Of course, they can always hit you out before it comes out. Um, in order to prevent that, right, you have a couple different options. This little slide, it's um, you just press P. It has quite a bit of distance, right? And as long as you space it, they can't punish you. But if you're like really close up, they get a punish. So you do have to be a little careful. And then this move, it's more of a combo filler. You're not just going to like throw this out of neutral. Even on air block, it's punishable. This is also really good to RC because you can get a pretty cool mix up after it. So if I have meter, I'm looking to neutral skip. This is one of the things I'm looking to do. Just go in and then do a, do a good mix up like this. All right, so we'll talk about her yo-yo. So she has four different types of yo-yos. They're mapped to two buttons. The S button always goes horizontal. The H button always goes kind of like at an angle. Um, if you do in the air, same idea. Um, S goes straight ahead. If you do the 214 version, this makes it so that when the yo-yo comes back, it has a hitbox. And when you do the 366 version, when it goes forward, it has a hitbox, but when it comes back, it doesn't. A couple of things about this. When you do the 236S version, it's out longer. So do keep that in mind. And when you have it out, you can't throw another. So you kind of lose access to your quick projectile when you do this. The main benefit of doing this, right, is obviously one, you can catch people out. If you're trying to zone, um, you can do this. And then if they approach, they get hit on the way back um, and it forces them to go into like specific spacing. So you're going to be using all of them. Like even this version is like good to snipe people who are trying to like air dash or do some moves in the upper part of the screen. Another cool thing about this. So this is this is what we call minus unblock. The opponent's turn if you do this up close, right? So if I'm mashing, I'm gonna get counter hit. The interesting thing is because like this has some travel time. If you're like at this range, so let's say you do like a 5S into 5HH into the into the yo-yo, that's actually plus on block. So this is like pretty uh pretty strong. Because if I try to mash, I get I get hit. And then you can obviously do your 214K mind games as well. So uh yeah, yo-yo, pretty good move. Once this is out though, you get access to your 214K special. What this does is an air ball. This is super plus on block. Basically, every time you do this, you can get a mix up between doing a uh, you know, jump in or you can go straight into a low. The issue is that this ball is easily 6 p -able. <laughs> So part of the goal of Bridget is to get the yo-yo out, which getting the yo-yo out is really easy. And then conditioning them not to 6P when you're trying to go in, right? Because getting that mix up and getting in with Bridget is really strong. So you want to make sure that you condition them so you can do that. So what are some of the options? Well, when you do this roll, you can backdash out of it. You can jump out of it. You can cancel early with a jump normal. Um, you can even do like a jump H and like, you know, get some really cool spacings like that. Let's say the 6P. So I see Bridget roll, I'm gonna 6P, and then I get whiff punched, and then I you know, get put in the blender. So you need to make sure you use all those options. Another option you do have is, um, you know, you can do this into the into the bear dive. That's pretty good. The bear dive is minus, but you know, if you have RC, you get a full combo. It can also cross up, which can be pretty tricky to block. I think it's better when you do like an air version because you know, you can, it's easier to bait out the 6P when you do that. But yeah, the, the bear dies really good. Especially if you have uh, meter, I think this is one of the best uses of meter because even if they block it, you're plus and you, you know you get to go for frame trap or whatever you want. The last but not least is our DP. So think of like a standard DP, like Kai or Souls DP. Nine frames, quite good. You can RC it on block, obviously you're safe. People can bait it out by backdashing and then you can't you, know, you can't DP, you get a combo on RC. On hit, you don't get that much, right? You just kind of get set back to neutral. The most common thing is people will, uh, people will backdash out of this. You can chase down the backdash like with a 5H. But yeah, it's a DP, it's invincible. Use it when you're getting pressured. It's good on wake up, obviously loses the throws, so don't do it all the time. All right, so supers, um, you know, her S super, this is um, basically only used for combos. Um, one thing to keep in mind for some of her combos, she can care cancel into these supers. So if you do 236K and then you do the super input with a K input as well, you can cancel the scooter into the super. But basically you're, you're only gonna use this for combos, mainly only to wall break. Doing something mid screen, you're better off using RC and uh, wall breaking from that. The H super, that's this little flame wheel. It does like no damage. It is plus on block, but you don't want to use it on block. The way I like to think of this move is like a super good whiff punch tool. Only use it like if the opponent commits to something that you can react to and then do this move. You don't want to just throw this move out randomly because it's honestly, it's a waste of 50 meter. Um, when you could do something like this and 
and get in the neutral skip. Wait, that's a, that's a way better use of meter. But this is really good for reacting to stuff. So what do I mean? Like, let's say a Bridget is whiffing this 5H. So I, I see the 5H whiff. I press this one. That's a punish, right? And then I get in for free. And a lot of characters will have these kind of laggy moves that you can react to with the H super. So some examples would be like Soul doing gun flame or Kai doing his projectile. You have to be, you can be a little creative with it, but yeah, only do it when you're almost certain sure it's going to hit. They do have 50 meter. They can just roam and cancel, so it's not really worth it then. So make sure they also don't have 50 meter when that happens. And don't use that super to wall break. This super does more damage. All right, cool. So combos. I'm not going to go too into combos because this character actually has tons of combo potential. I think in order to optimally learn Bridget, you want to start with a few basic combos and then kind of work your way up. So let's get those basic combos out of the way. So you'll do this combo a lot where it's 5S for the 2S will hit. And then you do this combo and then you go into a scooter, you hold forward on a scooter so you can get the meaty. Something to keep in mind is that if you do this too early, you don't get as good of pressure. You don't stay as close. So it's a little bit better if you do a slight delay. And keep them on the ground so you can you can stay a little closer. Another thing to keep in mind is like in the corner. You can get a wall bounce. Um, sometimes you have to be a little careful. Like if you're too close and you do the scooter right away, you'll just fly over them. But there's a simple fix for this. You literally just delay the scooter a little bit and you can get the combo as well. And of course, you know, if you're in the corner and you have meter, I recommend always doing the care cancel into the uh, into the super like we talked about in the super section. Second combo I recommend you guys learn is the counter hit 5S combo. So this, especially when you're beginning, can serve as like your DP punish. It'll work for like, let's say you punish a burst or you're doing pressure and you get a close 5S. In order to do this, you just jump and JS, air dash, JSJH and then Ender of Choice. So Ender kind of depends on where you're at on screen. If you're like not close to the corner, you can get something like that where you just dash up in 5K and then get the, uh, the scooter out. If you're a little closer to the corner, you can get a close 5S and then go into whatever you want, right? And that's like guarantee the wall break. So there's a couple other combos that uh, I think you should learn even when you're starting out. So if you do the same route in the corner, it can be like kind of inconsistent, right? And you can actually do something a little bit more optimal, which is you cancel. And basically anytime you get a corner hit, you can cancel into uh, six, six H and then the six H goes into this ball. And you can get something like that. Um, and you see that'll do a little bit more damage. So if you get an RC route mid screen, you can pretty easily do the same route we talked about, right? But if you do in the corner, it's a little janky. So in order to stabilize it, you can just go into a 2H and then 236H. And the 236H will hit, you can get a combo after. Um, you can be pretty freestyle with how you finish the combo. So even something like that works. It's easier, it's more consistent. You'll find yourself needing to do that extender sometimes too. You wanna to learn a DP combo. So if you do like the same route mid screen after a DP, they like fall really quickly, right? So you need something else. The super easy thing to do, 5S, 2H into 236K, and you at least you get a decent knockdown. You can squeeze out more damage if you do a yo-yo set. But again, it's not that much more damage, but you do get corner carry. And then there's we even more and more optimal stuff, but that's going to be in the advanced section. Uh, same thing with 2H. So counter hit 2H is uh, something that might come up if you're trying to anti with 2H. But when you're first starting out with a character like this in Guilty Gear, you want consistency, right? I know that's not optimal. And that's kind of the point is what I'm trying to showcase is that get something basic like this down and then you can work on the optimals when, you know, you're a couple months into the character and you need to squeeze out, you know, a little bit more extra damage or all quarter carry. All right, so let's talk about basic game strategy. So kind of sum it up, start of the round, you actually have pretty good round start options. 5S is uh, 10 frames and reaches this far, it's pretty good. Um, 
Um, it's kind of like my go-to, but again, some characters, if they have a really fast option, 5P can kind of stuff that um, because it's it's even quicker. But again, it doesn't reach them. This will beat 6P, so this is your call out to 6P. You can just do a 2S. Of course, you have really good neutral. You can just back off or you can just dash block or hold your ground. You have a lot of different options that you can, uh, you can kind of take, right? So let's say you get to neutral. What are your options, right? Well, you want to be looking to throw out an orb. I recommend against most characters, you want to make these orb throws work, right? So let's say they're throwing fireballs. You can, you know, counter throw with your own orb. And then once you get this orb out, right, you just play the, I want to get in and uh, try to, you know, bait out a 6P, right? You can do kind of the options we talked about earlier just to, you know, get in. And of course, you always want to be looking out for air to air because some characters will feel very threatened and want to stop like these shenanigans. So they'll try to put like really big hitboxes out. That's when you're kind of cute to, you know, whiff punish with 5H, whiff punish with 5S, run up in 5S and get pressure. You know, look out for anti air with 6P or 2H and just kind of rotate those options. You know, you're not going to have one option that beats everything, but you want to make sure that you kind of are very fluid with Bridget and how you approach your neutral. Just don't be predictable. That's the that's the number one thing. All right, so let's say you get in, you get the hit after Bridget's standard knockdown. So let's say something like this, right? I recommend almost always going for that close slash. And what this does, again, it gives you a hit confirm and then you can kind of repeat the sequence over and over. If they have a DP, well, obviously you don't want a close slash. Sometimes I'll just like back at Ash and like do a 2S because that also baits throw. And the most common thing that'll happen is they'll just block your close fly slash, right? And so you have a few different options after this. If they're mashing, your best option is a delayed 2S. You see how that counter hit? You actually have to delay the 2S quite a bit in order to make sure it frame traps. And obviously after this, you can kind of get the same combo we talked about before. And then it just loops into the same sequence again, where you get that meaty 5S. There's a few other options you can do, right? You can change out any of those for a command grab. So let's say, you know, you, they're really looking for it. You know, just command grab after the, you can even command grab after the 5S. Just make sure you don't like they don't get hit by the 5S and then you do the command grab and the command grab whips. You gotta be a little careful. Make sure you hit your reactions are on point. A couple other things you can do, right? You can just kind of let the block string rock. Um, that's that's always a good block string ender. You're slightly plus you have the orb out um, and you can go back to play neutral or you can go. You can try to engage, right? Or you can just even do something like this, bait out a 6P and throw out a good hitbox. You have tons of different options you can kind of play with. The other option you can do in a block string is again, kind of do that spaced scooter, or you can just go into scooter slide immediately. Again, it all depends on like when your opponent wants to, wants to press buttons, right? Let's say you really condition them to block. Um, of course, normal throw is good. Um, what I like to do after a normal throw is throw this disc out, the 214 s and then go into 2S, 5HH, and then you kind of get like a, a safe 214K because the uh, when the disc comes back, it kind of covers your approach, right? On hit, you get a combo. You just go into a scooter. Same thing in the corner. You have a lot of cool Oki options. Kind of what my go-to is like you can OTG here into the orb and then you can get like safe pressure like this where you can throw the orb and you know go for an overhead mix up and then the orb the yo-yo <laughs> keep calling it orb and yo-yo and so okay um sometimes you will be on defense you know you basically just want to rotate your options between dp uh kicks like your 2k in the 2d so just to mash out obviously your universal system mechanics like fd fd is really strong this version make sure you're using fd backdash sometimes delaying your backdash sometimes you know doing throw or delayed throw they're all options you have to rotate kind of your only character specific options are you know dp and 2k if you're trying to jump out of the corner you have decent options right because you can do this like bear fall to kind of, you know, be the air grab or be like a 6P. Um, but a lot of times you're just kind of like air dashing out. Yeah, just air dash out, get out of the corner. That's kind of like the go to if you can, if you can find a spot to jump. One other thing about her defense, these super, neither of the supers have invul. She's like one of the few characters that doesn't have invul or supers. So don't be mashing out the super. <laughs> it's not going to do you any good. You know, stick to the DP and or the other options we talked about. And then last thing, if you have meter and neutral, right? You're either looking for a whiff punish with this, or you're trying to skip neutral with this, or you're trying to skip neutral with that.
and then you can just go into more pressure or go into mix after those moves on block because they're all plus. All right, time for the advanced section of the guide. If you made it this far, I'm guessing you found this guide useful. So please consider like, sharing, and subscribing. Um, really helps out the channel, helps me make more guides like this, helps me grow the game, and gets more people into cool characters like Bridget. Right. So anyways, advanced section. Um, the first thing I'm gonna talk about, maybe it's not more advanced, but it's her her orb Oki. Or I mean her yo-yo Oki, right? And so I think when you're starting out, you should have like one or two things to, to go for here. And my go-to is just going for a safe jump. Um, you just basically do like a delayed jump S. You can also do um, delayed jump K too. It's kind of up to you what you wanna do. Um, the string I've been doing is JS and to 2s and that hits low right it also keeps them uh keeps them grounded and then you get a uh you get an extended and the, yeah cool thing about that string is one it safe jumps two you get a mix up if they block everything right all right so let's let's pretend i got a knockdown and this is what it looks like on block and then you can go for a mix up right you can either do immediate jump in you can go for a jump D, which has a delay to it. Or you can go for a, you know, you basically just don't press anything and then do a 2K when you land. Between the 2K and the jump D, you basically have a 50-50 on top of the 50-50 that they started with, right? And once you establish the save jump, there's a lot of, a lot of cool things you can do um, to kind of mix them up, right? One thing you can go for a fuzzy. I see a lot of people going for this. They have to block the 2, 3, 6K do a slightly delayed um, kick or a jump kick and then you have to do a jump P and then that that gives you a fuzzy pretty cool I don't like doing it because uh, I think jump D is just as good right you can do something like this and you also get that kind of delay as well but the fuzzy it looks so cool now, I'm sure it has its uses and I'll probably start doing it more you can do empty jump low and I've seen some like really crazy setups on Twitter, right? So if you do the other orb setup, you can do like a, like a air dash back. You can also like do a delay here. <laughs> and then like cross up. There's tons of potential with the mix up. You gotta figure out what works best. I'm still trying to completely map that out. But you know, when you're first starting out, have like your one or two go-to mixes that you can kind of mix up between. Everything else after this, I would say, um, if you haven't made Celestial already, don't worry about any of this, right? These are like for the true, the true sweats <laughs> watching this video. So she has a pretty cool uh, BRC pressure concept, right? So if you ever land a close 5S and you have meter, I think one of the more optimal ways to spend the meter is you do close 5S and then you can basically get a free uh, yo-yo toss, right? And after this yo-yo toss, you can kind of do like the, the same 50-50 we talked about, right? Do the jump D. You can also get a uncharged dust. And by the way, to do this, you just, uh, you plink the dash and the, the RC button after, after 5S. It's actually really consistent uh, to do. But I think where most of her advanced stuff comes from, other than like optimizing her mix, are her combos, right? Unlike some characters like Leo, where Leo, if he hits a DP, he gets like a, a mix up. Bridget's not one of those people. Um, what I think will separate some Bridget players is being able to wall break after your uh, DP hits. And there's a few ways you can do this. I've seen, I see some ex example combos and they're kind of hard. That's gonna take me 20 minutes. <laughs> right, and so being able to get positive bonus with Bridget from something like a DP is really, really strong, right? Bridget's really, really good at using meter because again, the amount of neutral skip tools that she has. So optimizing your confirms and getting wall break um, and prioritizing wall break, I think is gonna be like the next level of uh, Bridget. Another example of something I think is a little more advanced is she actually has uh, like burst safe routes, right? So this is after a dust, but you can do this after like command grab or pretty much everything. So this combo wall breaks, let's say you're trying to close out a round, which is, you know, why the situation would kind of be in. But if they burst, it whiffs. And it doesn't matter when they burst, unless they burst at the end of the combo, you see how that whiffed. And they burst later, <laughs> it still doesn't matter. Uh, let's see the fifth hit. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty good. And it, it looks like you have to burst the very end of this uh, 
end of this combo in order to in order to make the bursts work. Yeah, you have to burst there. It was just like really unintuitive, right? So I think people are gonna start learning these burst safe routes when needed. And just to kind of show you the uh, combo potential of this character, this is one of the crazier combos I've seen. And again, I don't think this is optimal, but just trying to show you that, you know, this character can pretty much wall break from wherever. <laughs> yeah, absolutely insane stuff you can do. And I'm pretty sure if you let that rock, it would've just wall broke anyways, but uh, this looks way cooler. Yeah, this character has tons of optimization potential for her combos. And I think that's really where the uh, the advanced stuff is going to come into play. Anyways, guys, I hope this uh, guide helped you guys out. If you think I missed anything or want to add some additional uh, tips for people to check in the comment section, please leave down a comment down below. Uh, really appreciate you guys like sharing and supporting and helping this channel grow. Um, so please consider doing that if you haven't already. Yeah, wish me luck. I really like this character. I'm like debating if I want to main her or whatnot. Um, we'll see. I'm going to upload some more Bridget videos to the channel most likely and see where that goes but i just really like her uh super super fun character if you guys want to check me playing out bridget or you know just playing guilty gear strive or other games in general twitch down in the link below it's probably the best place to ask me questions about bridget too if you want to you know pick my brain or share some tech or something like that we also have a discord where you guys can post in as well and uh share some tech or meet some like-minded individuals and yeah thank you guys so much for watching have a great day and i'll see you next time